Since 1916, the U.S. Sheep Experiment Station has been a leading research center for the U.S. sheep industry and other industry partners like BLM, Forest Service, and University Extension. Dr. J. Brett Taylor is the research leader and says there's a good reason why this USDA ARS research center was built near Dubois, Idaho, with an emphasis on sheep genetics with a range interface. So the producers got together and they uh, was able to work with the U.S. government to get the sheep stations established to look at developing breeds that were most suited for these types of uh, of ecosystems, mainly the sagebrush ecosystem, the subalpine that we see in the distance, and uh, um, to meet their production goals, to meet their livelihood goals, and to better serve the consumer. That was 100 years ago, but not much has changed since. Today, he says, a lot of the focus is still in genetics, just with a more modern approach. Instead of looking more at the quantitative component, where we're looking at the visual look of that particular animal, now we have new genetic techniques that allow us to actually dig deeper, to be more precise in what we're developing. We're still into breed development. The U.S. Sheep Experiment Station developed the Columbia, the Targhee, and the Polypay breeds. We're still in the business of developing, developing composite breeds that better serve the producers and, and consumers. Developing grazing strategies that not only benefit livestock like sheep, but that are also good for wildlife species like sage grouse and their habitat is a top priority at the U.S. Sheep Experiment Station. This is sage-grouse habitat, prime sage-grouse habitat. And so ever since uh, the mid-60s, especially up in the 70s, uh, we began monitoring uh, sage-grouse numbers, basically through their legs, so where they, where they basically mate each spring. And uh, so our focus, so we have that long time, that long-term rich history of, of monitoring, intermittent monitoring for, for a long time now. That allows us then to go back and look at, well, how does grazing affect that? Producers like Terraton Idaho's Jeff Sidaway say the U.S. Sheep Experiment Station is a critical component to their operation. Whether it's development of different breeds, it's work on different diseases, it's utilization, how, how to utilize pasture, how we are going to interface with wildlife on, uh, nowadays. There's a huge amount of information dealing with uh, wildfire or prescribed burns and sage grass. He says although the sheep station has been targeted for closure by the USDA since 2014, there's tremendous value for this research for the future. We're in the sheep industry to pr provide food and fiber. We take a renewable resource. We take the solar energy that converts to the feed that grows and, and we don't ha leave much of a footprint and yet we provide literally thousands of jobs for people in this country to market our products, to, to retail our products, to utilize our products and then to, to have our head put on the chopping block by some bureaucrat in an agency that's just looking for a way to save some money when our industry is in jeopardy uh, because of all of the other concerns, it, it really is upsetting. And we've worked with our congressmen and our senators. Uh, we've, we have a national association. We've been able to keep it alive uh, over the last few years because of that congressional effort. But the, uh, uh, the agency has to step up. For over a century now, the U.S. Sheep Experiment Station has led the way in research for the sheep industry. And with the support of producers like the Sidaways, Congress, and the American Sheep Industry Association, sheep producers nationwide can rely on this facility to provide continued research on genetics and sheep care for another 100 years. Near Dubois, Idaho, I'm Russell Nemitz reporting.